Hi ho everyone, I'm coming to you from my car. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a hoth ad all of a sudden. Uh, so I'm gonna show you quickly how the first promoter direct integration works so we can get uh, both admin and your uh, promoters, your, your referrers, um, get their own data, get their own links, get them automatically signed up, um, show them their reporting. Um, uh, basically no one has to log into first promoter again. So uh, check this out. Um, in the wrapper. So here's an example of a wrapper. We literally need your, your uh, first promoter API key. Um, you can turn on automatically create promoters or turn it off. If we turn it, if you leave it off, uh, we will track first promoter uh, um, uh, referral links and conversions. If you turn that on, when a new user signs up, they'll automatically cre be created as a promoter and they'll be given a first promoter link or their, their first promoter link and they're reporting in the back end. I'll show you that in a sec. Um, first promoter has uh, emails set up. So if you want those um, default account creation emails to go through, you can have that on. I recommend leaving that on because uh, it does let them um, have their, their special link to log in and, and they can set their password and all that sort of stuff. But um, without it, it means you manually have to go and help them um, get back logged in again later. You might want to hide it from them um, and just deal with that. Some people have decided that's what they wanted to do. Um, and you can, turn, you can turn off the internal referral system, but I left this here just to show you that our internal referral system, which is in use for like sales teams where there's no actual uh, re referral bonus or anything like that that's tied to it. It's literally just... How many sales calls did you make? How many sales conversions did you make? Bang, done. Like that's that's really all it's it's, it's meant for, um, but just to let you know that they both work. So you can still have your internal sales team tracking um, referrals and uh, you can have this external promoters, first promoter integration happening at the same time. So API key and you're done, uh, set your settings, you're away. That's all you need to do um, as far as um, setup is. On the uh, internal referrals, as I said, they still work as normally you find them under your referral link um, settings, but we do have a, uh, a separate one now for first mode. I, I did merge them and then realized that some people might want both on. So we've left sales team referrals there um, and we've added a new menu for uh, first promoter um, dashboard, as you'll see here, uh, latest sales um, and your promoters list uh, and when they signed them up as well. Um, so when, when the promoters signed up and then obviously when the promotion referral rewards have been assigned all the details, um, event ID, everything you need to look up inside of Stripe if you need to and that kind of thing, um, which campaigns and stuff from within First Promoter. Okay, um, as for what the customer sees when they log in, um, obviously your, your normal wrapper settings where they can change their password and change their code, um, change their, sorry, their um, their plan and their update their card and all that sort of stuff. Um, if you're using multi-users, um, if you're allowing them to do the special imports for um, their systems for from external systems for pipelines and all that sort of stuff for their leads. Um, all those are still available in here, uh, but the referral link section here gives them this new menu uh, where they'll get their referral link and um, they can track how many referrals, active referrals they've got happening at the moment. Now, both of those are available um, as the, the dashboards to be able to be embedded. So you can have on the admin side, your uh, first promoter dashboard within in high level itself. So um, you can chuck that in as a custom menu link. And then obviously that same um, as a lot of the guys do with their billing, you can wrap the billing um, piece at the location level for your users to come in and they can update their card. They can do that sort of stuff. So they can do their referrals from within um, high level itself without actually having to log into a separate system, without having to log into first promoter, etc. Cool. All right. Talk soon.